Welcome to an iGET concept module. This is part two of two. iGET is funded by a grant from the National Science Foundation. Question number one, true or false? Band ratios can only be used to detect plant life. That is false. While one of the most common applications in DVI, there are certainly several others. Uh, not to mention the normalized burn ratio and the snow index. Do remember that band ratios can be used for a variety of purposes. Question number two, true or false? Band ratios rely on spectral signatures. Correct answer is true. Band ratios compare two different bands and take advantage of those properties. Typically speaking, we're gonna be comparing things with high reflectance and low reflectance. Question number three, how do band ratios work? Well, first, we are gonna be comparing two bands. Second, we're gonna be taking advantage of the spectral signatures. And third, we're gonna be looking for one band that tends to have high reflectance for whatever purpose we're looking for and comparing it to another band which tends to have low reflectance. That's gonna give us an index between negative one and positive one where the things that we're looking for tend to have high values and the things that we're not looking for tend to have low values. So in other words, if we're looking for healthy vegetation, we should expect high values because healthy vegetation is reflecting the type of light we expect it to and absorbing the type of light we also expect it to. When we're finding that that's not true, we're gonna be down on the negative end of the scale. This was part two of two. Thank you for watching. Additional resources can be found at the iGET YouTube channel or the iGET website. Happy remote sensing.